Hello everybody, today we're going to be making a shop clock. Now this is a really fun project because you get to use your artistic skills to try to be as creative as possible and make the coolest clock. We're going to get to experiment with tons of stains and have a great time. Stay tuned to see just how I did it. Okay, to start off we're going to cut our wood to length. So I'm doing a 13 inch clock you can do whatever fits your clock I just sort of estimated the length I thought was good um, you'll probably have to do the same get creative with having some uh, like maybe two pieces to the column like you'll see on the far area on the right side so now we're just gonna add in a few stains with ebony golden oak weathered oak walnut and a few others so just use whatever you have and I'm gonna let the stain sit there for about five minutes and add another uh, bit of stain. This is gonna add a really cool, unique look to the wood. So now it's time to glue up the clock. I'm gonna be using Type Bond 1. And below you're gonna see a few coals that I'm using. These just keep the uh, board flat. And if you're wondering what the coals are, it's just those wood pieces that are keeping it all flat. So I'm using some quick grip clamps there. Uh, it's preferable to use some other types, but that's all I have, so it's going to work just fine. Now we're going to be cutting our circle with a jigsaw. You could use a coping saw or a band saw. Now here on the disc sander, we're going to be rounding everything over, or smoothing things out, that's a better way of saying it. And then we're going to just cut that edge with a little bit of sandpaper attached to a block. Now to finish up that edge, because we don't really want the white look, we want it to look more like it's all a different color of wood. So we're going to be using some honey, you could use walnut, or whatever you want. Um, I'm just applying a generous amount, and then any excess you can just blend into the wood. It really adds that unique feel that I think is really cool. If you don't like that feel, you could just decide to totally not stain this, and just keep it natural. That would also look good, or you could paint it. You can get really creative with this project. So finally my clock mode has arrived and I'm opening it up. Inside I had a few other things you don't really need to worry about but the point is the clock mode has arrived and I could trace it onto the wood and now my dog wants to join the party which is cool so I am drilling a hole for that clock motor to sit in and I'm doing this with a force snow bit but you could also use a router. So now I'm going to slide that clock motor in and twist on the nut. And it's looking pretty good. Now this was a bit hard for me just because the thickness of wood wasn't quite right. So if you use a different thickness it might work. But the point is I got it all working. I slid on the hands and we were all good. Now it's time to add our numbers. And this I did by waiting till the minute hand was pointing at the... Um, correct number so if it was like 350 it, the minute hand would be pointing at the 10 and so I knew where to place the 10 this worked okay I'm sure there's better strategies out there so feel free to leave a comment below on your strategy I was using a toothpick to remove any excess hot glue and that worked pretty well for me but occasionally it just removes the whole number itself so you will want to watch out for that it also helped to have someone um, look at it before I finalized my product just to make sure that it looked good with someone else too. Sometimes I'd have to replace the uh, numbers and that would be a bit frustrating but it, I think it's totally worth it. You're going to see I did that with the 11 here. I was like, nope, that doesn't look good. Now it looks a bit better. So then I had to hang it up and I was just uh, I just put a little thick nail into the wall and you don't need to go into a stud that's okay if you don't and then the clock motor comes with a convenient hanger so that's what I'm gonna slide it right onto and there's our final product I thought it looked pretty good I hope you found this video helpful and interesting I was really happy with this rustic shop clock look and I would highly advise you to try it once we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to be doing a really cool epoxy and walnut log clock. So be sure to click that button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with a friend. It really helps. Until next time, remember, complex projects can be made with simple tools.